Welcome back to the show, and congrats on getting married. Yes, this is a big yeah. deal. It happened. Yeah. It happened. Yep. This Thursday, you'll be able to see the, the wedding in the two-part finale of uh, Paris in Love. Uh, I have some photos here to show. This is uh, beautiful. Looking at is you at the altar. Yes. I Gorgeous. love that Oscar de la Renta gown. Wowzers. Uh, this is uh, you and Carter walking down the aisle. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's so uh, nice. How, how, how was it? How was everything? What, what went wrong? <laughs> it was <laughs> something always goes wrong at a wedding. It was magical. It was everything. I think the only thing I was stressing out about was I hadn't written my vows up until I was literally about to walk down the aisle. I was like, oh no, rushing. It was very stressful. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. Would you end up? Do you remember what you said? I just ended up throwing them on the floor during my speech, and then just started speaking from the heart. Wow. So it went. Did way you get better. emotional? He was crying the entire time. <laughs> I was like, I am not ruining this mascara and my glam, so That's so I held funny. It in. Did you make, uh, you, last time we talked, you said you're going to make 10 outfit changes, did you? Well, I wanted to live up to that, but I only did seven. <laughs> but you did do it. Yes. Was it tough to do, to, to keep going and changing? Sort of. Yeah. It, was, it would have been tougher to do um, at the Santa Monica Pier for the Neon Carnival, because there was no other change, but I had the wedding at my grandfather's old estate, so... I just got dressed in my old teenage room. It was cute. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, how about first dance? Was that good? Stress you out? I was so stressed. That was the one thing I was dreading because I hate ballroom dancing. I'm just, I'm good at like raving and jumping around, <laughs> but like a fancy you can't dance. Do that. Yeah. yeah you can't do I was that. like, I can't, but I killed that too. Oh my gosh. You're <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> so funny. Uh, what was, uh, can you tell us your, fir your first dance song? Bruno Mars, Just the Way You Are. Aww. I love That's that song. Did you, uh, any other song uh, under consideration? Stars Are Blind, my song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Kim that would have been great. It. She already sang it. Kim Petras, my friend, sang it as I was walking down the aisle. So, she did? Yes. Uh, I ran into your mom, by the way, who's super cute and awesome and funny, and she told me that Demi Lovato crushed it. Oh, my God. That was just so beautiful, singing I Will Always Love You. Everybody was Demi crying. Demi Lovato is legit, man. Ugh, I mean, so talented. Pipes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's so fun. Well, how was your mom during the wedding? She was a lot of fun. My mom, <laughs> no one knows how to throw a party from, like my mom. Like, I, that's where I get it from. She seems fun. Yeah, she's so cool. She loves you. She said she loved seeing yeah. you the other night. I do. I, she's great. I, but also, it, what, she's just a character. She's so fun. <laughs> I mean, she's the best thing on television. Thank I know. you. I think she's the funniest person. Uh, I want to show uh, everyone a clip of your show. This is Paris finding wedding inspiration in the craziest... Where is this place? Las Vegas, Area 15. It's like an indoor Burning Man. It's <laughs> sick. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. Take a look at it. I've been going to Burning Man for the past 10 years. It's one of my favorite events. It's so magical, and it's like nothing on Earth. And Area 15 is like an indoor Burning Man. So I thought, what a better way to kick off the weekend. All right, Major takes a shot. No, I don't want to race. Oh. Pays to go with Paris Hilton to Vegas because they treat you like the queen. <laughs> yeah. What is that? I, I, it's amazing. You have uh, to go. I have to go to that place. Mm -hmm. um, uh, last time you were on the show, I asked you to explain NFTs, mm -hmm. uh, and you did so in a great way, uh, which is a very hard thing to really explain to a lot of people. But since then, Forbes has named you one of the 50, top uh, 50 most influential people in the NFT space. So congrats on that. Thank you know you. Uh, what you're doing. Thank you. I'm so proud. I love being a part of this community and being a voice and sharing my platform and just getting the word out there because I think it's just such an incredible thing to be a part of. Yeah, I, I, got, I, I jumped in. I know, I heard. I'm I, so happy I taught you what they were. You did. You taught me what's <laughs> up and then I bought an ape. I got an ape, too, because I saw you on the show with people, and you said you got a moon pay, so I went and I copied you and did the same thing. You did? Mm-hmm. This is your, this is your my, ape. Yeah, we debuted. That's really cool. Like the hat, the shades. And what, but, how did you pick? Because you can pick your, your, your ape. Yes, I was going through a lot of them, and I was like, I want something that like kind of reminds me of me, but I, I, this one, it's, it does. I think we, we made like another version of it where he takes the hat off and blonde hair comes out. 
So. Yeah, because you could do it now, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Animated version. We're part of the same. We're part of the no, same community. We're yes. both apes. I love it. Uh, here, my ape, this is my ape. This is yours. Yours is so cool. I love the red heart sunglasses. I love the captain hat. It reminded me of me a little bit because I wear striped shirts. Mm -hmm. I've worn these heart sunglasses because my daughters, <laughs> just as a joke, they have them, and I, as a joke, I put them on. So I've done this, <laughs> and I love yacht rock and being breezy. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That kind of, and I like the blue. Mm-hmm. Dude, look at us. They look like they could be friends. They're buddies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is, uh, you have a new NFT, you have one, being released soon. Uh, we have it here. What can you tell us about this? Um, well, it's an NFT series that I'm doing with Super Plastic and we're releasing an Origin Protocol. And then I made another piece by hand. It took me six months, and it's all a collage of all of my memories with Carter, and it's called my Forever Fairy Tale. Wow! And here's the actual collage. Yes. Uh, this is uh, this is big. I think uh, people are gonna love this. Well, if you love it so much, I actually want to give you the first one. I will. I will be honored. And I want to give one to everyone in the audience. Everyone gets an NFT. Yes, everyone. Everyone gets an NFT to Paris. That, come on. I think that's the first NFT giveaway in television yes. history. We love you. Iconic. Paris Hilton. Who else does that? Yes. Paris and I are going to do something fun after the break. We have a very special guest to help us out. Stick around. For real? We all get this. Hey, hey.